As recently as 20 years ago, we used our hands and our bodies in the world a lot. Now I can spend the whole day sitting at my computer typing on a keyboard, and that's been true for at least 10 years. So physicality has really gone out of the world. And one of the things that were what brought me into the field and made me excited about haptics when we first started to invent the idea around 1990 uh, was trying to bring that physicality back into the world. My research is right at the connection between human-computer interaction and robotics and psychology. I work in all of those areas, in particular a lot with emotion and affect. Robotics comes into it because generally the kinds of technology we're building looks a lot like robots, but they happen to be robots that you interact with through your sense of touch. And these have many therapeutic uses, but part of the research has involved developing touch sensors that can pick up emotional touch and then using machine learning techniques to determine what's going on and then adapt the robot's behavior so you have an interaction that makes sense to people in an emotional way. The surprise was that when people made these gestures, we could tell the gestures apart. That worked great. But we could also tell which person was making the gesture. And so suddenly we had this vision of we could make these little robots these very inexpensive cloth sensors that you just saran wrap your robot with, and they can tell who you are just by the way you touch them, the way an animal could. And so this opens whole new doors for how we can actually build these interactions because they know who's picked them up and who's petting them and who's feeling sad or upset when, when you're handling them. And we never even thought that was going to be possible.